Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Special Hobby. So this is a kit in 170 second scale and we have it as a Junkers U87D plastic, it's a D5 version and slash N which means it's a night attack fighter or it's not a fighter, it's a... Um, Stukas as you can see written here, but obviously this was used for the ground attacks and we have hit this special release as a commercial sample So it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review And we are going to open it together So first of all I have to note the box art which is really nice here and here you can see comparison with my hand On the sides you will find also information that it's made in Czech Republic and of course the kit number which is SH72458 this is a top opening box and here is what we have inside so we have assembly manual on the top and then be below this we have the plastic bag with parts decals and some other things which might be handy for assembly of this stuka so this is a receivable plastic bag so it's quite easy to open but here we have several catches let's say because uh, first of all this plastic comes from uh, academy so that's why it required some upgrade parts from special hobby and because we did not review the original academy plastic it will be interesting to check it but if you also watched the previous video review with stuka you will be quite familiar with what we get here so first i'm opening the plastic bag with clear parts which is sealed and is really difficult to open but here it is so it's remove the dust and here we have the clear parts so all these canopy parts they look quite nice and i would say that they should look great once you assemble them all together obviously you will have to use masks and i think they are not included into this kit at least i do not see them so be ready in order to mask all this stuff you will have to use some templates or something else because otherwise it will be a really tricky thing to do it with your own hands and tools Next we continue with the grey plastic frames, so again I need to tear through the plastic bag, so just give me a second, it will be a bit tricky thing to do. Okay, so what do we have here is the, actually three frames, so first one is dedicated to underwing gondolas. I'm not sure if they were used actually on the night version, but as you can see they are supplied and they can be a uh, nice let's say spare parts which you can use for later builds or maybe for some scratch building next we continue with a sprue which is dedicated to uh, cooling parts so here you can see that it should be glued out of two halves and we also have the cockpit floor, the instrument panel, pilot seat and some other internal th things which will be used for this aircraft note that inside we have guiding elements so it will be easy to combine everything together and overall molding quality, if I bring this uh, cooling panels closer, you can see that external features, they look really great. So it's just a matter of careful assembly and you'll be good to go. And next we continue with fuse wedge halves. So they are coming on the third plastic sprue here. You can see that both halves are molded together with a tail section, but or tail fin, but they're molded, one of them is molded without rudder because it's only on the left half as you can see, so it will be used as a guiding element obviously. And here we continue also with propeller exhausts and uh, propeller hub as well. If I flip it over like this, you can see that we also have some pre-molded features for the cockpit. We have guiding elements and as I said, rudder is working as a guiding element as well, so it will be easier to combine everything together. Next I'm opening the second sealed plastic bag, so it's also original Academy plastic. And by the way I can see on the frames that original release date of this kit was 2002, so quite some time, 20 years ago. So it's something to remember. And this plastic still looks okay I would say, so it's worth assembling if you are not too demanding in terms of features. 
and that's what we actually can see on this sprue so here we have wing part as you can see that's the lower section and it is molded together with a mini mechanization we also have nice external features uh, here you can see landing gear wheels and also some parts for air intakes if i flip it over here inside you will find that the wing mechanization is molded as a single piece part and also we have guiding elements inside which will help you with alignment of such large parts and next we continue with top panels for the wing so here they are they are pretty much the same in terms of features so it look really good and of course the familiar band is uh, copied here i'm not sure if it is exact to the let's say shape of the real aircraft that's more to those who are specialists in this aircraft but overall these parts look nice note that also engine gear fairings they are divided into two halves and we have guiding elements inside okay and next we continue with the new sprue from Special Hobby. So this one will be needed in case you would like to replicate the later version. So here it is. And let's start from the corner as usual. So here we get new landing gear wheels. We also get the new landing gear um, legs. As you can see, they are nicely molded. And next we continue with new fairings for landing gear, new rudder and also some special pylons and installation slots for the bombs another type of the fairings is included here and another type of the installment points on the wings note also new cockpit parts which will be used these are armor shields and by the way here we have the uh, gunner seat and if i flip it over inside you will find these guiding elements so it will be easy to combine these parts together but the molding quality shows what is new let's say uh, and in difference with 2022 and 2002 release from academy so it's quite obvious i would say next we continue also with the new exhausts so we have two types of the exhaust covers and i will show them in a second they are provided as a resin parts and they look quite nice so if i zoom in now you should be able to see what i'm talking about so it should be easy to uh, separate these parts and if i bring them like this you can see that they are nicely detailed also from both ends so that's one end and here is another one if camera will focus yeah now you should be able to see okay and here is another exhaust so let's try to focus the camera and now you can see what i'm talking about okay so these are resin ports but that's not all because we also have decals and p fret so that's why i was saying some extra things for this kit and yes p fret comes as a standard inclusion so you don't have to buy it separately so that's a really cool bonus to have out of the box especially in a 170 second scale that should be fun to add minor features so just give me a second to get it here it is unpainted p fret and we have parts not only for the bombs but also some interior parts as far as you can see but uh, of course do not overestimate it we do not have all the features here but still it is a good bonus as i said before next we continue with two decal sheets so one is dedicated to swastika as you can see it should be assembled out of separate sections together but still it is good that it is provided at least in this form and next we continue with the main decal sheet this one is dedicated to all main symbols so if i close the lenses a bit maybe like this so now you should be able to see what we have here. So all the crosses, we even have some decals for the cockpit. So it's the instrument panel. And printing quality looks really good. I can suggest that maybe they are coming from Edward. So that's why you don't have to be worried about any printing quality issues. And now we can move on to the assembly manual. So here I should zoom out a bit. And assembly manual is typical for this brand. It's a small brochure with a short history note on the first page. Next we continue with the parts map. And note how many parts will not be used due to the new parts supplied. So pay attention because a lot of original academy parts will just stay on their sprue. Assembly process starts with the cockpit. So here straight away we are using some P parts as well for the seat belts obviously then we assemble the 
fuselage together and I can see that yes rudder will have to be cut off and replaced with a new part supplied by special hobby next we continue with the nose section which as you remember attached separately then we also have to cut the main section of the wing and replace the central section of the fuselage with a new part and here you continue with the landing gear we also have to drill the holes in the wing in order to accommodate this landing gear OX and there is a choice between two fairings so both can be used in case you, know, you choose this or that marking next we continue with bombs the rear machine gun and the canopy so for the canopy you have to decide whether you would like to use one piece or you want to open it with the help of uh, separate parts and there is a mask uh, set which is sold separately which is really handy so i would recommend to get it next we continue with two marking options so these ones are i would say somewhat classic for Stuka, but they should also good, look good in a small scale. We also have a winter option, so there are four already. And here we have some ads which will be, uh, which are available from Special Hobby. We reviewed them as well, so you can find it easily. And by the way, we will check this one a bit later, so stay tuned. And here are three other kits in 172nd scale, which we also reviewed. So this release should be already available and you can get it on official Special Hobby website. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about such release. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.